I represent an organization that has stood for something greater than the dictates of self. It has always stood for the interest of the nation, the people and especially the women and the girl child of Pakistan. APWA, short for All Pakistan Women's Association, was founded by Begum Rana Liaquat Ali Khan, the wife of our first Prime Minister. This was done right after partition and it was to mobilize the women of the newly established state to aid their country in a time of crisis. When uh, the, the people were coming in from all parts of India to settle in Pakistan, Karachi was uh, literally uh, flooded with uh, refugees who, whose children they, ha they had no place to go to. EPWA, I think, was one of the very first organizations to set up schools for the incoming uh, people who had nowhere to go. During that time, Muslim women had a different lifestyle altogether. And when partition period or the tragic times of importing refugees started, that's when we women from comfortable backgrounds came into the forefront like warriors. Really took it very seriously because there was so much to do. She organized the women, mostly the women who were in a key position in the country the secretaries, wives, the ministers, wives, etc., who had the means of doing welfare work. And she taught the women how to work for others. In those days, every one of us wore gararas. And here were these ladies who would go into the hospitals, working with the refugees, all in their fancy gararas trailing around. Nobody told them that they should wear something more practical. Everywhere these were letters pouring in and pouring in with the same problems of women. Everywhere women trying to improve their lot. In social work or NGO was not a So it was a as a mother NGO. And people inspired by this film. APWA has a United Nation consultative status and is the first NGO that has pioneered and sustained the women's rights movement in education, health, training, crafts, employment and culture. Human rights and development issues of the women and children in Pakistan has been our foremost aim. APWA wasn't a choice or something I was attracted into, but I was brought in by the then President Begum Tazeen Faridi, who felt I should come into APWA just to handle the finances of APWA because I had been a sort of a businesswoman in my own little life. When I joined APWA and I took over the finances, it was all in a very big mess up. Begum Lyakat had been dead for about 10 years and um, there had been no follow-up after her as everyone had been in the shadow of this great oak tree and no one could really come up to the expectations she wanted to come up to. The quality of serving with commitment, with inner feelings, with devotion, not with mere words, the legacy she gave us rights above all differences. Leadership of Begum Rana Liaquat Ali Khan, who was, I'm not exaggerating, she was the most dynamic lady I have ever come across. And I think Pakistan has, hasn't had a person like her ever afterwards. And she was very glamorous, so I was very enthralled with her as a glamour person. 
मैंने नहीं देखा उनको पर्सनली लेकिन मेरे दिल में उनके लिए बे इंतहा प्यार और बे इंतहा रिस्पेक्ट है और वो मेरे ख्याल से उनके कामों की वजह से जो कि वो अपने अंदर फील करती थी वो शायद उनकी पर्सनैलिटी में भी जाहिर था इसी वजह से वो लोगों को आज तक याद है कि आँखों के अंदर जो एक मैसेज होता था वो मैं एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर सकती लेकिन वो ऐसा लगता था जैसे ये होता है ना कि आने वाली नस्ल से कोई तो जब वाबस्ता करते हैं तो मुझे ऐसे फील होता था कि वो मैसेज कम्युनिकेट कर रही हैं शी वॉज वेरी ह्यूमेन शी वॉज वेरी डाउन टू अर्थ एंड शी हैड अ ग्रेट पैशन फॉर लिटरेसी फॉर एडवांसमेंट ऑफ वमेन बट इन अ वेरी सब्ड इन अ वेरी वेरी जेंटल एंड प्रोफाउंड वे every young woman of those times for her example her personal direction guidance everyone contributes their best we have some apa members who have been there from begum lakat's time who are like